Kind of looking ahead a little bit, get out your crystal ball and with so much uncertainty surrounding yeah. uh, stage two, meaningful use and ICD 9 to 10 transition and the, the perfect storm really of, uh, of governmental and regulatory um, initiatives. Kind of how are you helping create a scalable solution that's going to meet those needs two, three, four, five years into the future and, and align with your partners to make sure they're establish or achieving those criteria? We don't see high tech being defunded. So we see those stimulus payments for, for meaningful use um, really and truly rolling out. We don't see going back to the well. We also don't see the concept of ACOs going away. Even if the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation Fund is limited, the, the healthcare has to move to risk sharing, period. So that means that the industry has to become good at having digital conversations on a very grand scale. And it absolutely has to be patient-centric because the patient sees, sees different doctors, different hospitals, and it's covered by different insurance companies over time. So what we see is that we already have the digital highway. It's already paved. We have all these digital connection points. And we've been having a conversation about money, basically. Now we want to take that same infrastructure, which is, has the huge scale I mentioned, and just have a different kind of conversation on that highway using our expertise with data standards, interoperability, and very large scale. And, and the onus is on us as an industry, a HIT industry, and HEMS as an organization to help our customers understand, look, with Ledge Red, you're going this way. If that doesn't happen, you're still probably going in generally the same direction. So how do you look at your HIT investments and how do we help our customers really move forward with their business strategy? HIT is, a, is an enabler within that. You know, one of, the, one, of the, one of the more amazing things we've seen as a news agency here at HIMSS 11 is this uh, smart patient room. It's a, it's a, it's a collaborative uh, effort among 12 or so technology uh, providers or developers who've come together to show all of us in attendance here what a patient room might look like in the future. And it's astounding. It's been very interesting for us to cover that. It's very gratifying for me personally to see how healthcare is evolving towards uh, a safer environment for the patient a more efficient environment for the hospital and it just it's just astounding to see where we may be in just a few years so if anything at all I suggest you go see the smart room uh, while you're here at HIMSS. Well, we know uh, the sky's the limit there's need for the secondary use of good clinical data for many many applications uh, we're very excited that uh, we're approaching an era of comparative effectiveness research for example that will enable physicians in almost real time to understand how drugs and devices are used and uh, to help enable us as a healthcare enterprise to understand uh, the best practices for our patients. You're watching Hit Exchange Media, the coverage of the HIMSS 11 conference in Orlando, Florida. Catch the premier issue of Hit Exchange Magazine or visit hitexchangemedia.com for more healthcare technology news and information.